hello everyone so this is basically my first video uh, on YouTube probably um, and um, here I'm going to explain how to use uh, Proxmox Talos um, solution to deploy um, Talos cluster <coughs> on a Proxmox right so first of all let's uh, just clone it uh, on github to some folder <coughs> git clone okay here I already have it and um, let's go inside here we have a few files and let's open it with uh, Visual Studio Code so it will be easier for us to see the files all right so <coughs> here we have the main uh, Proxmox uh, Talos Proxmox manager file right and we have redeploy script which is basically a small script which allows you to constantly deploy and redeploy the same cluster over and over again if you do testing on labs or changes things like that and uh, some um, charts helm charts for a uh, like common stuff that you may need or may, may not need I just put them here so you will have Grafana Prometheus um, local path this is like a default uh, storage solution of course you will most likely change it to something else Meta will be load balancer and the Nginx ingress controller all right so uh, it will take a little bit of time to deploy it so we will just uh, start uh, deployment script and I will uh, go over the settings uh, but before that we need to do some changes so first of all I'm going to change disk storage because here it says L local LVM and I need to um, basically put here uh, the real uh, disk storage name in my case uh, it's local ZFS right so let's change it to local ZFS and save the file and <coughs> secure boot I leave it on by default but you can just remove it so the deployment will be a little bit faster most likely and uh, disk size is 100 gigs 8 gigs of memory for CPU cores you want to create three uh, nodes you can make it two or one it doesn't matter uh, like <coughs> you choose it uh, for your own uh, requirements so this one is important this is uh, IP of VIP this IP is only for a uh, cube CTL it has nothing to do with uh, Talos it's only for the um, connecting to the cluster um, right so the version and uh, here we have all the automation stuff now here we have um, let's see here we have all the functions that uh, create the cluster and here we have all the patches patches are used uh, to configure a Talos cluster <coughs> with different things uh, for example here you can select the default disk so like select different disk or if you don't want to use default CNI you can remove it uh, VIP right so for example if you don't want to use VIP we simply can uh, disable it here if you if we comment it out we will not have VIP anymore but in our case we do want VIP now um, with secure boot and everything we have the encryption uh, but encryption is like virtual encryption so if somebody steals your <laughs> virtual disks they st actually can unencrypt because it's all virtual but for testing purposes you can play with it yeah and uh, yeah so let's run this script and see how it goes so I am just running redeploy script because it's easier that way by the way if we will have some issues I will just troubleshoot them uh, here online so we can see how we troubleshoot stuff 
All right, so what's going on right now? Um, the script is going to create three virtual machines and <coughs> it's going to download um, kubectl and uh, taloctl and uh, iso images. You see Talos, uh, kubectl is already installed. If it was not, it would be downloaded. Now it's creating the machines. Let's take a look. So the first node is was created and it's starting up. <coughs> it will automatically boot into the uh, Talos uh, installer. Second node. Now, if you look at local uh, storage and go to uh, <coughs> go to ISO, we can see that um, ISO for Talos version 1.9.2 was downloaded just now. And um, now um, VMs are booting up, right? It will, of course, take time, maybe 10 minutes, maybe, I don't know, 15 minutes, depending on your network speed and everything. Uh, but my machine is not very powerful here. I have Home Lab, which is like uh, a bit old HP uh, desktop computer with uh, 32 gigs of RAM and uh, i5 CPU, so it will take a little bit of time. Now let's take a look at our script, what's going on here. So uh, yeah, it's starting the nodes, first, second, third. Now it automatically, uh, the script automatically detects the IP addresses of each of each uh, of each VM automatically reboots them. Let's take a look at found the IP addresses, and it creates the um, configuration, the control plane YAML worker and uh, Talos config, and uh, <coughs> it applies the configuration after it was generated, and uh, now the nodes have been uh, rebooted. And uh, the script is uh, waiting for, uh, for for VMs to boot up. All right, now <coughs> cluster was uh, bootstrapped and uh, cube config was created. So basically, from that point on, it's only waiting to for cluster to fully uh, start. All right. This is okay, it's a small error, usually doesn't happen, it's just a small timeout. All right, now this is the, the longest part, uh, because it takes time for the cluster to uh, self-configure and uh, become fully ready. Now, as you can see, the node 2 and node 3 are still uh, booting up, takes time. It says booting. Okay, this one has some issue. UFI boot is enabled, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this one is, is a little bit stuck. Hmm, okay. So this one is booting and this one is stuck. I think it has to do with uh, secure boot. Let's, let's give it small reboot, reset and see what's going on. All right. Okay, it's booting up. Okay, good. Now it's starting <coughs> properly. All right, let's take a look at our script. All right, it's much better now. I think it found something, but no resources are found, but it's still trying to trying to connect. All right, now the first node um, will have a VIP, as you can see 
192.168.0.85 so this is the VIP uh, in, and this VIP automatically jumps from one node from another if for example the first one node is shut down the VIP will jump to the second one and so on and so forth this is uh, like a load balancer for the kubectl it's very important so for example we can open a new shell and ping it and we have reply all right so as we can see <coughs> the cluster is getting ready more and more nodes are online they're not ready here but at least we can see them it is just that okay the first node is stage ready and secure boot is true and let's take a look at the second one all right it takes time it actually takes time for them to fully boot up all right by the way some errors that you see here they are like just debugging errors they are not they don't really mean anything in the end the cluster will um, boot uh, properly and configure itself it just there are so many small things that depend one uh, on another so so it's okay that you see errors here usually have to give it time like 10 15 minutes or so all right but the first first node is all healthy and all good all right the second node is coming up as we can see ready and secure boot is okay in running stage stage is running in api server and controlling manager and scheduler all going to be healthy as well it just takes time all right let's see our script okay now it's actually running helm all right so cluster is up and <coughs> this part is actually when uh, the manager ends this is the end of uh, manager here as we can see and now since i run a redeploy script so basically this part was completed and now it just does this part helm sync helm file sync by the way you must have helm file installed on your uh, computer so helm file is like a, it's like another utility for helm so with it you can easily install multiple charts so here i have helm file and uh, it has all the repositories and releases and everything needed uh, to install all the <coughs> all the charts maybe i'll make another video about helm file but i'm sure on youtube there are so many videos on helm file how to use it i just made a simple configuration for everything to work all right so let's see what we have here all right it's all done now if we can if you want to use it uh, so basically you can do something like this uh, something like this you copy it you paste it you have copied uh, cube config talos cube config and now let's e export it all right copy and paste all right now let's do kubectl get nodes okay we have cluster up and running <coughs> let's try k9s <laughs> yeah. k9s is up and here we have all the pods which are running um, this one cube scheduler will restart it's uh, it's fine it takes time for it to um to fully start i think it's the the, the one of the nodes is not 
not fully up so yeah probably this one or this one or this one okay so the second node is okay it's healthy the third one yeah it, it will take time for it to to fix itself it takes time okay as we can see container creating so it's all good just takes time yeah it's okay all right so this is uh, about it uh, what else what else um, yeah so the important uh, parts here is that you have to make sure that you have uh, like properly set up your network so the network addresses must be like my uh, my internal uh, subnet is 192.168.0. something so the ap addresses in metal lb and inside the prox manager must be properly set here for example for vip it's very important um yeah and other than that it should be should be fine yeah as we can see second node is up and the third yeah third node is also up yeah so so that's it that's it um, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions uh, just uh, write me on the github and I will be more than glad uh, to help out cheers guys bye bye